Hey everyone, it's Mike. Um, during this video, I'm gonna talk about my three favorite nootropics for fat loss. And in no specific order, they would be caffeine, they'll be yohimbine HCL, and they would be ephedrine, which is uh, just right over here, ephedrine HCL. Now, I would use them in different contexts. Of course, caffeine, if you're unfamiliar with it, it's supposed to not only help increase your metabolic rate, but as well, there's a lot of research showing that it's gonna help enhance your workouts. You're actually gonna, you're going to burn more fat during your workout than, with, than how much fat you would have utilized without the caffeine. Very powerful stuff. Most people surprisingly are unfamiliar with Yohimbine, HCL, and it's something that I believe was banned in some countries, or I think it was just the Yohimbine bark. I first discovered Yohimbine HCL from a book called um, The Ultimate Diet 2.0 by Lyle McDonald, as well as his other book he had, it was called The Stubborn Body Fat Solution. And, and what this drug specifically does is it helps fight those, um, you know, like those really stubborn areas. Most people seem to lose fat and then they hit a plateau and they can't really get past, you know, they can't, for example, drop below 10% body fat, or if they're a female, drop below 15% body fat, right? So what this does is it's really gonna um, hit those stubborn areas. What it will actually do is it'll drive more blood flow to those areas where you can then um, you can then extract the fats out of the fat cells so that they can be in circulation and they can be utilized for fuel. So this is a very interesting, very, very interesting drug. If you do take it, do your research on it first. It has to be taken on, a, on an empty stomach or you have to be fasted for at least five to six hours. You would dose it with caffeine. They have a synergistic like effect. You can even take it with some tyrosine. Therefore, your uh, like those fat stores will be easier to utilize. You can do cardio and just get the fat out, right? So the ideal protocol is something like wake up, um, you know, you're in a fasted state, you take some caffeine, you take some Yohimbine HCL, and you'd go do 30 minutes of like steady state cardio. Very powerful stuff. So, so that covers a bit about caffeine, a little bit about this, and then, there's of course ephedrine, right? Um, ephedrine HCL, similar to caffeine, it's gonna help increase your metabolic rate. And what I like it most for is it's a very, very strong appetite suppressant. I cannot think of one other substance, anything you can ingest that's as powerful as it comes to this in terms of just killing your appetite. I mean, if you're somebody that's doing like an extreme diet, like for whatever reason you have to fast or you have to eat like 300, 400 calories per day, this is the only thing which I would recommend. It just makes food so um, unappealing, right? Like you can eat nothing but egg whites or tuna. I remember I did that once just like, just for fun, like a proteins, like um, a PSMF. So it's essentially you're eating nothing but protein just to preserve your muscle and just diet. So like 200 grams of protein per day, nothing else. And I ate nothing but tuna, egg whites, and I had some of this, just killed my appetite. I just did it for fun, right? But. Um, there is a lot of talk about the ECA stack, which is ephedrine, caffeine, and aspirin. And that's, that's a stack in which you dose this with caffeine three times per day. I would not recommend you take that much. Um, for me personally, like each pill I think is eight milligrams. I wouldn't go over maybe 40 milligrams per day, but in that stack, a lot of people were going to like 72 milligrams per day. And these are small people. So why I don't like this in high dosages is because it seems to just affect your adrenal glands. It does something funny. Anytime you notice that you're holding on to more water weight than typically, then you know that just something's not right. Something didn't work right with me. When I was using ephedrine, um, the fat did come off, but I was just so bloated by the end of it. I couldn't really understand that. So that's something I didn't like about it. And on top of that, there's actually a lot of research, new research showing that ephedrine actually doesn't hit those stubborn areas very well. So if you're like a female, most females, they seem to hold like their last bit of fat, um, either like in the legs or like their triceps. Whereas men, we're more likely to store in like our lower backs, right? So just pay attention to those areas because when it comes down to like losing those final pounds of body fat, you have to really try different things. Most people like a low carb approach works where the carb stores are just low and they can utilize that fat for fuel. And then things like Yohimbine can work, but ephedrine you actually notice won't work. Um, hope that was helpful guys. Again, I would not recommend you take, you do the ephedrine caffeine stack. I think it's way too taxing on your adrenals. It's not worth it. You're just gonna feel dumb. You're gonna be too stimulated throughout it, but check out Yohimbine. I think it's one of the most underrated substances 
out there for losing fat and hope you guys found that helpful. As always, if there's anything you'd like me to review in a future video, let me know and I'll see you all next time.